They spelled it out in no uncertain terms. But I said to the staff, you know, by, by Saturday, you know, we, we need to have our identity kind of etched in stone on where we're at. The question of separating quarterbacks, Kyle McCord and Devin Brown, was asked a million times today. And the answer, it's always the same with Ryan Day. You know, now we're just looking for the consistency. What the head coach is sure about is the running back room led by Travion Henderson. First off, Trey has had um, a, a great offseason, and he's had a great first 10 days of practice. I think he looks fast. He's seeing the holes. Uh, he's involved on special teams. Uh, he's just overall, I can't say enough about the kind of uh, work he's putting in right now. Now he's got to go do it. You just got to compete, man. I, I know, you know, when I committed here, man, I know what I was getting myself into, man. That's why I chose The Ohio State University, man, because I know they bring in the best talent, man, each, each and every year, man. And so I'm always just trying to compete. Reporters observe celebrated receiver Emeka Abuka scolding his offensive mates last week. And that's what coaches will talk like. But then when your players are starting to do that, they understand the standard of what it should look like. And that's when you got a chance. And that's what I was mentioning earlier about the leadership, guys who have been through. And that's a third-year guy, but he's been around. He's veteran. One, two, three, go. Day says the offensive line is in pretty good shape after flip-flopping his right and left tackles. If he could just figure out who takes the first snap in Bloomington. At Ohio State, I'm Clay Hall for the Football Fever.